<coughs> hello guys, hello, welcome. Today we're going to be carrying on Lost in Random. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to be playing Canterbridge of Spirits. I, I won't finish um, this game today, but uh, let's just see how far we get. There won't be that much to do when we're done with Kenneth. Okay. We should be good to go now. Second chat. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> getting used to still the uh, the free screens. Cool. All right. So what I was doing last time, <laughs> so I was trying to buy all the cards um, in Forberg because this is the opportunity to get them. But even if I've already done the story of Fort Bug, I'm not going to leave until I've collected every card. And from what I was told, you need to collect every card that he sells, even the ones you already have. So it's not about getting the unique ones. Your eyes are closing. Oh, uh, sorry chat, I didn't stream for a couple of days. I think officially I might just not stream on weekends. But Thank we'll see. You. I haven't decided yet. Because each day, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I wake up. It's, it's almost RNG at this point. Some days I might wake up and I feel great, and other days I feel just like crap. There's no schedule to it. It's like mentally and physically. Uh oh. Ow. Ah, suckle. See if I can heal. I 
really, really need to heal. Okay, can I heal? Heal again. Yeah, this is probably a mistake. Done, finally. This Evans ordeal was finally over. She could finally repair Dicey and leave Four Town behind her. Which is great because Quite frankly, I find this whole town to be unsettling and unpredictable. That's right. Even narrators have opinions sometimes. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Um, You'll like it. Okay. Carry on. Like this. The people there, they they haven't lost hope. At least I never noticed if they had. I think what's really important for my mental well being is that I feel like I'm doing what I want to do. But my health will always be number one. Because like, I don't feel well today, to be honest. So I might cut this to stream short at some point. But if I can finish Fallberg, that would be great at least. Uh, 
Uh, he probably will take us to the next place, so let's not talk to him just yet. Because I am actually, like I said, I'm trying to get the plan of trophy as well, I'm not just trying to finish the game. I see when I walk away from the game, I want to be like, yep, landed it. Don't need to talk back. Great game. Like I said, I have been having fun with this game, that's why I keep playing it. Is it really important to just do what you find satisfying or fun? I guess it's good that I'm practicing my aiming before Canada tomorrow. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Heard any good ghost stories lately? I heard one from an old dice. <laughs> an ancient class of warriors. Mm, tell me more. Um, it's about a regret that couldn't die. It's about a choice that affected an extra life, entire life. About a relationship that ended with one mistake. Is there a ghost in it? Just the ghost of a friendship. The death of a treasured relationship. Interesting. Fascinating. Not a physical ghost, but the ghosts of tomorrow. Of all your regrets haunting you better than even a dozen ghosts could. <laughs> yes! Oh, by the makers, that's terrifying. A life of sleepless nights. Regretting one single mistake. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, that's three ghost stories I've given you. So it is. So it is. <laughs> and honestly, I was expecting more of like, you know, vengeful, horrific stories. And what you've told me are just, well, well, they're kind of sad or, or, or moving or. Or, or stories that remind us there are things we may never understand and and like all stories there's there, there's a joy in telling them a, a joy in in being alive and being reminded of that uh, thanks kiddo cool. all right so that one is done uh let's check the journal Yep, so we've done basically everything in the town. Now we have to just buy all the cards. Okay. So we still need a lot of money. For sure. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so talk to him. We'll probably finish it off. Tell you what, because I need to exit out and then reload. So, I might as well do it from this layer and work my way through the town. Maybe get lots of money that way. And exit to main menu. Game, fall back. Oh, 
they all respawn. So the reason <laughs> the reason we're quitting out is when you do and you reload all of those crates reload, then you get even more money. What if eventually I'll learn like a farming route? But it's one of those you only have to do it once situations. Apparently you get about... Oh really? Let me check the... the journal. So I did save the fact that I've actually done it all. I just wanted to make sure that me going out to the menu coming back didn't glitch the game in any way. Keep going. It may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. It, um, it is better, right? Um, as I say, eventually I'll learn the farming route through this. I'll roll with the moth. The fact that you only get 10 at a time as well. Look, Fort Town may have but its problems, but it's simply it, I don't from. want to have to do this again.
160. God, I'm going to have to do this with flipping hours. If I'm only getting like 150 to 200 a, a go. Sorry, I'm stuck. I wish there was something I could do that would speed this up. Okay, it's gear. I have to reload. but it's better than where I came from. It, uh, it is better, right?
I think I'll do the same each time. I'll go back to the same place. Before I uh, reload. Alright, let's exit. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to kind of Bridges Spirits tomorrow. But some people probably be playing it from tonight, to be honest. Um... Well, as I say, if you're lurking and you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm farming the coins now to get all the cards from the vendor. But apparently this is the time to do it, and there's a trophy involved with it. Because I do want to get the platinum trophy for this game. You know me, I don't do anything half fast. Uh, the beast merch, yeah. How you doing, buddy? support is what well, Mr. Beast does because of the amount of charity work he does. If he just did his videos, he didn't do any charity work at all, I wouldn't support him this much. Huh. I've never been to the Soothsayer District. Oh, God, up, boys. Slowly, slowly making a dent. I need to buy some of the clothing. Just waiting for the right colours. Ah. Yeah, for me, I was like, purple is my favourite colour. But it's convenient that they he sold like a purple shirt. Oh, uh, you're mentioning that you're getting certain uh, certifications. For your job. What certifications are they? Oh, uh, thank you for the resub. Appreciate you. Girl's got some wild hair. Yeah. Have you if ever played uh, Tales of Hysteria? One of the girls in that game has got the hairstyle like uh, something about Mary. Like, there's a sticking up. <laughs> Let's see, IT, IL, and Cisco. Oh, nice. Is it like the Microsoft ones where you have to like just study, 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 and then take an exam at the end? Or do you get it just by finishing the, the, uh, the course? Study and an exam. Okay. Because I used to work as a uh, developer. I worked as a developer for ten years. The only problem with working as a developer is that uh, I think it's. I think you were saying something similar. Is that it's not the job that's the problem. It's the people. So, especially when you have non-developers who condescend to talk about like programming, like they know everything. It's like, do it and then talk.
But I've been now working for myself, mostly as a YouTuber streamer for the last three years. And uh, it's why I was telling you as well that streaming is, it's, for me, it's just like bonus money. Is YouTube is, is my actual, I would say I'm a YouTuber who streams, not the other way around. Because a lot of people who are full-time streamers uh, only use YouTube to um, like upload, like you were saying, like compilations or funny clips or whatever. And the reason I do it the other way around is because of the longevity of it. So, and also as well, like, you might have a funny idea for a video. Let's say you want to do a tutorial, you know, or an update. Like, like I was saying to you about Escape from Tarkov, you know, it's like you can say, oh, the latest update is this, this, and this, and I think it sucks because of reason X, Y, Z. That video might only take you 5-10 minutes, but that might be literally all you have to do for that day. The problem with streaming is that for you to really be noticed as a streamer, you have to just keep streaming. You have to always be there. You have to be there between like 6 to 10 hours a day, every day. And I literally, I can't dedicate myself to that. I really can't. I, I haven't streamed for like two days already. I didn't stream the entire weekend. Because I was saying at the beginning of the stream is that some days I wake up and I just don't feel up for it, not med mentally or physically. So, yeah, it's basically just a 9 to 5 job. Yeah, except... You don't get a guaranteed salary. It's down to, um, what's it called? It's down to the generosity of your viewers. Do they tip? Do they sub? Whereas on YouTube, you make your money from ad revenue or from merch sales or affiliate links or stuff like that. So, and like I said, you can upload a video today and it could be making you money even 10 years from now if you focus on evergreen content. So rather than trending topics. So that's why I, I put the preference towards YouTube. It's difficult to do both. Even doing it full time is difficult to do both, for sure. And if you obviously in your case you have a job, I would say yeah, pick one. If you pick YouTube, like or Alternate like one day YouTube, one day streaming. It'd be very hard to do both and have a job. Let's see, slavery with extra steps. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, but it's also important, I think, to have a goal in mind. Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? Like, do I need to be rich? Do I need to be a millionaire? Not really. Would I like to buy a house? Yes. Sure. So that will take a lot of money. Uh, but it's it's kind of like to, to just keep the expectations realistic as well. Because I think a lot of people get tempted into YouTube and streaming because they see how much money people make at the top. So obviously like Mr. Beast, for example, he's making millions of dollars a month. Uh, but, like, he is the absolute pinnacle of YouTube. The absolute top. So, I would argue that he is a bigger YouTuber already than PewDiePie. Because PewDiePie didn't get 30 to 100 million views a video. He did for a couple of videos, but not for all of them that he uploads. So, I would say, like, it's, it's important not to your expectation based on it's like it would be like going to Hollywood and expecting to be the next Meryl Streep or the next Clint Eastwood you know what I mean and even most of the celebrities in Hollywood look at them in awe or you want to be the next Robert De Niro Or if you're a singer, it's like going into the music industry and hoping you're the next Beyonce. Like, some people have got a God-given talent, and then some people don't. And I, I'm happy to accept it. I do not have any God-given talents. <laughs> my, my talent is to annoy people. And to piss people off. Which doesn't really suit you well when you're trying to 
get people to like you as a content creator. So I, I try and focus on content where it doesn't matter if people like me or not. So. The, honestly, I just enjoy streaming. I am slowly getting motivated into making videos for my YouTube. Yeah, I mean, some, some advice for that, because, you know, I've uploaded nearly 3,000 videos. The videos which do the best are the videos which are, let's say, 8 to 12 minutes, which focus just on a single topic. So, for example, uh, you could say, uh, here is a new, this is the best gun to use when taking out the scavs in Escape from Targon, or this is my favorite gun. And you talk about that gun for that whole video, that's all you talk about, that one gun. And then uh, you, you'd say, for example, oh, this is how I manage my inventory in Escape from Tarkov. And the entire video is about that one, again, that one topic. So, probably going to delete all my YouTube streams and start from scratch. Yeah, uh, my advice as well with YouTube, do not delete videos basically ever. Just in case you accidentally select all and delete every video on your channel. It said just the ones that don't do well or you don't want to see, just set them to private. Uh, my advice really, believe me, there was one time I nearly deleted my whole channel by accident. <laughs> uh, thank God I didn't. So just set to private would be my advice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I said, with YouTube, like I said, if you can have a niche, that's why I was saying about, I only say Escape from Tarkov because I've seen you play it, like, if it, you pick any niche, but make your whole channel about whatever that one topic is, and um, that's why, for example, I've got the gaming news channel, I've got the vlog channel, I've got the let's play channel, and so on. So that all the content on those channels is centered around that one topic. Or oh, I've got my personal finance channel. They're copyrighted even though there's no music playing. Oh really? Um, what I can do, I'll send you um, copyright, uh, sorry, fair use copyright text. A second. Let me do that now. Uh, I'll maybe save this in a notepad or something when I send it. Uh, copy and paste. So what I do is, every single time I get a copyright claim, every single time I dispute for fair use, and they, they ask you to justify why, or, you know, why does it fall under fair use, and then I paste that in, that, that block of text. That, that block of text works 90, 90%, I would say 90% of the time. There are some music labels who will just not, they will just decline it immediately, uh, especially like BMI, uh, they're notorious for that. And um, anything Rockstar as well. But uh, you, you will learn with time who disputes and who doesn't. And then if you have to, just use the YouTube editor to either cut bits of the video out or mute. But generally, I just mute for fair use. But that, that block of text has literally, like I said, I've, I've had hundreds of claims over the years, and that block has got rid of, like I said, probably 90% of them. And then the rest of the time I just use YouTube's own uh, either muting tools or uh, editing tools to cut out the bit. I remember, like, because uh, I used to, back when I used to stream on YouTube gaming, um, I used to be on a uh, in a Twitter group with like twenty other YouTubers, and they shared that, and it it was it was probably the most useful thing I got from that group.
uh, what will happen as well with the claims when you dispute for fair use, uh, then the dispute, they've got 28 days to answer. Most of the time, they won't even answer you. They will not dis they will not deny the the dispute, but they won't uh, do anything. But what will happen then after 28 days? It then disappears, like the claim never happened, which is really annoying because it, it might prevent you monetizing your video for 28 days. But yeah, G generally I just try and stay away from copyright copyright anything. Sometimes though, you do get false claims, you know, from people who just don't own the content. But that's happening more and more rarely, because when that when that happens, then I will just report them to to Team YouTube to say these people do not own this content. Why are they claiming it? And then YouTube will step in and remove the claims. But as with everything. Streaming, YouTube, all of it, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, as they say. Let's see. Let's see how long it's going to take me to buy all these cards. I'm farming a trophy right now. I need to buy every card from that guy and then I get the card collector trophy. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be playing a different game. I'll be playing uh, Can of Bridge of Spirits. Looking forward to that game. But yeah. But obviously, I, I think... Oh, hey, Mom. I, I think what you're doing is the right thing in terms of you just... You're streaming because you're having fun doing it. Uh, you're not doing it for the, uh, the fame or to make money. I think that's the best way to start. Oh, yeah, man. Doing okay, how are you? Been better. I did um, exercise this morning. Like I told you, I did some squats and some push-ups, and oh boy, did it make me feel ill. I ended up going to the bathroom twice, but it means that things are, you know, things are starting to work again, but I always feel deflated afterwards. But one thing that was kind of funny is, like, when I was doing the push-ups, I, I did, like, two. I was like, ah, like, will I even do, be able to do three? But suddenly I got like a burst of strength. Or the, maybe I've lost a lot of weight. And I was sort of like, hang on, this is easy. And I did like 15. And maybe the first couple I was just loosening my muscles. I was just stretching. But I, I definitely need to do it more often. I'm probably just making my routine every morning. I'll just get up and I'll do some. I did even a plank as well. But do like a plank, and then uh, push ups, squats, and stuff like that. Because it definitely, like I said, it, this morning it definitely got my metabolism going. Go back into exercise when my knee's better. Yep, yep. And then the, uh, what's it called? Kenna uh, is going to be releasing, they said 9pm PST tonight, I think. Which is like, obviously, 5 in the morning my time. 
but I won't. I won't play it tonight. I'll just do it tomorrow. But some uh, some reviews already started to come out for the game. They they they've said that the game itself is about fifteen to twenty hours long. So you'll definitely get a decent amount of gameplay for the price. I mean, that that would put it as literally twice as long as this game. And who knows how long it takes to get all the trophies. So. Like I said, and I had uh, that KFC for lunch as well. I had the wrap. I was... I was amazed that just doing flipper 10 push ups and. Oh, sorry, 15 push ups and 10 squats would make me like. Would, would almost. It felt like wreck my entire body. That's how little I move. Okay. There's only one page of them left. Right up my sleeve, in my What's chest, up? up in those, up in... Well, everywhere. Let's try <sighs> I've never been to the Soothsayer District. People disappear in there. They mess with powers they shouldn't. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Uh, I almost sit in stream though, because of the way I feel. Uh, I thought, whatever, I'm just gonna grind some uh, some coins. Keep working towards the platinum. Like to be honest, uh, the way I feel right now, I will probably just finish the coins, and then just end the stream. <laughs> Then we can play about uh, five bug and so on that after kind of bridge of spirits. Health is more important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just because I, I saw it's whenever I have any sort of adjust, adjustment, I don't feel good. I won't say that I'm scared of change. It's just it hurts. <laughs> Scared of pain. Um, I'll have to use this for future videos. I wouldn't want to waste my time trying to dispute old streams. I'd rather start the channel from scratch and create videos. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, sorry for the late response. I'm at work and I'm only tasked. Ah, fair enough. But yeah, if you like, I said that block of text is golden. You can ask mum as well. Like she uses it. Dispute, like I said, like, Mum, how often would you say that that block of text works for this disputing claims? Because for me, it's like 90% 90, 90 success rate. Because they don't do the claims minus around 85%. Yeah. So I said they, they don't do the claims maliciously. It's just a case of um, they just want to make sure that people are just not uploading albums or, you know, uploading music. Oh, speaking of that, oh, Mom, did you watch the uh, gaming news today? I forgot to mention. I'd say this, this gaming news, you would actually care about. 
Is it because you saw Darth Vader on your feet? <laughs> I saw the Star Wars stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wonder. Like, which era would they base a game on? Which character? I want it to be different as well. I don't want it to just be uh, like uh, Luke Skywalker or whatever. That's that's kind of co cookie cutter. That's kind of, that's really flippant obvious. I'd rather it be based around a different character. Like R two D 2s adventure to find like WD forty or something. A new character, yeah. But they said as well that it will not interfere with Ubisoft's open world um, Star Wars plan. They said the two are completely separate. Well, like I said, slowly, slowly getting there. And I just, I also wonder what, because it, it shouldn't have any effect on EA either, with, you know, Jedi Fallen Order. And to be fair, I will probably play all of them. I will play the EA game. The, you know, if they do another Jedi Fallen Order, I'll play the open world Ubisoft game. I'll play the Quantic Dream game. Why not? So you can see that this process of getting all the cards, it doesn't take that long. We'll probably be grinding it for a couple of hours and that would be it. I do wish uh, Kennebridge of Spirits luck, because what I was reading is that uh, they said the Microsoft, the Xbox fanboys, might review bomb Kenner because it's you know the close ties to PlayStation, which would be a real shame if that actually happens. And Emberlab released their uh, release trailer for Canon. I didn't watch it yet, but... It wouldn't surprise me if uh, if if kind of goes really well if PlayStation just acquires Emblem. Sorry, when I stream, I just play music by GP because he doesn't mind if people use his music as long as uh, people use it to display his name and credits. Ah, cool. So I'm not worried about the MCA anymore. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you have saw of my gaming news and so on, but basically Facebook Gaming has signed a deal with a bunch of record labels uh, to basically reduce the chance of DMCA like a lot, 
like you'll be able to play a lot of copyright music on your streams uh, without any worry of DMCA and apparently Twitch is working on allegedly I have to say allegedly so I don't get sued um, allegedly Twitch is working on the same thing they, they, the speculation is as part of the reason why these record labels hit Twitch with like thousands and thousands of DMCA requests he said was to force them to the negotiation table to sign such a deal. It's for, for the long run, like, who wants to deal with it, really? I'm sure, for example, TikTok has got a similar deal as well, because on TikTok, if you, if you make um, a really popular... I don't even know what they're called. Let's call them ticks. If you make a really like a really popular upload and you, you're using uh, copyright music in it, you can actually earn a commission of like how much that music is actually streamed. So people actually make their income just by making ticks and talking all day. It's not something I've looked into personally, but it's, it's a thing apparently. High five. A new card. Many Alright, making a dent. Bridge has been working on a deal with um, NMPA for a while. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. But they have not come to an agreement. Not yet, but apparently they're, they're drawing close on an agreement. I mean, that's what I read anyway. I, to be honest, when I say gaming news, um, I'm just... I'm a regurgitator of gaming news I read. <laughs> the gaming news regurgitator. But when I do my videos, I just try and make it it's like the, the three most interesting pieces of gaming news I heard that day. That I think other people would be interested in. Because there's a hell of a lot more than three stories for me to pick. Like usually every day, there's like 50. Uh, for me to pick, but most of them I don't think people really care, and most of them they're not even used, they're just speculation of like, you know, are people going to be happy about this? It's like, oh, like, are people playing more Nintendo games because, uh, like, the kids love Nintendo or whatever? Like, as for me, that is not news, that's just like I said, that's just speculation. I try and report the, the actual news. Like uh, one company buying out another gaming company for billions of dollars. That's news. China not allowing under 18s to play games for more than three hours a week. That's news. Because uh, some. Uh, because I was reading about it today, there was more updates about that today, uh, saying that some parents are actually really, really grateful uh, that China has imposed these laws because they're worried that the kids were becoming obsessed. Uh, quite cool. But each to their each to their own sort of thing. I, if I if I personally didn't have gaming, then. But then again, I, I do keep a, a I feel a nice balance on gaming because, like for example, I am I'm only actually playing games when I stream. I don't play games otherwise. Like very rarely for me to play games otherwise. So if I like this weekend, I didn't stream at all. I didn't game at all. Hey, Balfir, how you doing? I still did the gaming news, but I didn't play any games.
How fair are you a uh, Star Wars fan? Unity challenge started. Right, nice. Um. So the booster stream thing is up. If you want to contribute two thousand points towards it. Get the most expensive ones. Your house of cars will never fall down when you build it with Fanny's help. Yeah, let's go back and reset. Stretch in a sec. Resubscription received. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate you. That I am one with the force. Yeah. Did you see my uh, gaming news today? Game fallback. I'm just stretching here a second. Uh, okay, stretched. Could be an interesting game. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder what their take would be. If it's true. Is it, is, it's one of those, there's no actual proof. It's speculation built on speculation. But I would find it fascinating to be true. Because I did think, like, to myself, like, how did they possibly outdo Detroit Become Human? But that game was incredible, like beyond words even. It could be a movie, it could be a TV show, it could be so many things. Like, I think, realistically, they need time to think of an idea that's greater than Detroit Become Human. Slowly remembering where they all are. It's what I'm doing right now, if you're wondering. I am uh, farming as many coins as possible to buy all the cards to get the card collector achievement. I just want to get it done. This is apparently the best time to get it done. I guess I'm just practicing my aim, because hopefully tomorrow we'll be playing uh, Kind of Bridge of Spirits.
the I don't need a cannon right now. Nice. How big is it? Out of interest. I don't think I've even received the code yet for it. I mean, if I do. Seventeen gig, nice. Uh, the only pitfall they have is uh, sorry, when you write a completely original idea, you don't know what to expect. Star Wars comes with its own expectations. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what I mean with that is simply, uh, at least the Star Wars universe already exists. So, as long as it's done well within the Star Wars universe, they don't have to create characters, you know. Like, they don't have to invent planets or planet names or races or whatever. Like, most of that work's already done. Whereas when you come up with a completely original idea, you have to create the world. You have to create... If there's different races, you have to create the history of the world, and where is it going, and so on and so on and so on. It's like when, when what's her name, worked the Hunger Games. Like, she had to write the history of Pan Am and the war, and how the Hunger Games became came to be, and all this other stuff. And then come up with, uh, what's her name, Everdeen, the main character and her family, and then the history of her family, and so many things. I think it's a, it's a lot of work when you need to start completely from scratch. Because you also have to do it in a way of, sure, I've come up with this game, but like, will people actually care? By the way, what's the goal of this game? Basically, you're this girl. You're called um, Even. Your sibling, your sister Odd, um, has been kidnapped or taken uh, by the, the Queen. And you're working with this dice you see rolling around, working through uh, this sort of random kingdom, going through each of the, the towns until you find your sister. So basically, we're now in Forberg, number four. We've been to one, two, and three, the different towns, one, two, and three. And after we finish Forberg, we'll go to number five and number six, and then hopefully get the sister back. So the goal of the game, basically, is ultimately is to save the sister. But for now, all I'm doing is simply is trophy farming. So, but it's... The, the game itself and the combat is based on this idea of like rolling the dice, getting a number of moves, and then drawing cards to um, to do those moves. So even in combat, it's, it's almost like um, like an action Dungeons and Dragon set in a uh, sort of Tim Burtonish type environment. But it's it's unique, is what I'll say. But Ultimately, what I'm working towards is saving the sister. The only reason why this seems kind of weird is because I'm a, I'm also a trophy farmer. You literally just happened to cast me at the the most grindy and farmy bit of the whole game. So that, that's why as well it's called Lost in Random. Because it is random as well, you know, rolling dice. But it's, it's unique, and I, I appreciate unique games.
But then, like I said, tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to be playing a game called Kind of Bridget Spirits. Or I got hundred left. I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. Reset. So once we finish all the cards, then we can finally move on. That really didn't take that long. How long have I been streaming for? Yeah, just over an hour. So I guess the grind doesn't take it. Because uh, I thought it was going to take all day. It, it doesn't take that long. I said made a couple of hours to do this grind. And this is, like I said, the most grindy part of the whole game. Exit. And basically, the reason why I'm exiting and reloading is because all of those pots full of money respawn when you do that. Uh. Because one thing is, like, because I made more than 1,500 videos about Final Fantasy XIV, and one thing I've found as well over the years is that if you base your channel around one single game, the second that one single game is not popular anymore, your channel is not popular anymore. So, but for the long term of YouTube, I need to have subject matter which will evolve over time. So, for example, gaming news changes literally on a daily basis. Uh, personal finance, there's a million things always going on with personal finance. The Let's Play channel is me playing whichever game I'm playing at that time. Um, and then the gaming, I've rebranded it. So before it used to be, like, just Final Fantasy XIV videos. But now I've updated my channel to be with free gaming guides and tutorials. So any game that I think is interesting... Um, I make a tutorial for. Or if there's any significant announcement, I'll do a reaction video or whatever. I throw that on my main channel. So it means basically that that way I've got infinite content to put on my on my channel. It's like there there are some you'll see some people who focus their channel around one game only. Uh, but those games tend to be so big and so, like, like they can provide infinite content. Like, for example, the people who make their entire channels based around Minecraft, for example. Minecraft is basically 3D Lego. So there, there's infinite possibilities for that. And the other people who tend to focus on one game only as well tend to be speedrunners. I, I, I don't know if you'd ever have a taste for speedrunning. I, I don't. I don't have that sort of time. There isn't any game I like that much. I want to speedrun it. important than YouTube or Twitch or anything, or even jobs, is health. Mental health, physical health. So that's why I take frequent breaks, because I get mentally exhausted. You know, it's not actually, despite everything, it's not my intention to just be sat in front of a computer screen for the rest of my life. Nearly there. So I need 320, 500, 680, uh, 8, 4, 845 to go. So I guess what? Two more clears of the coins. I'm 
I'm getting 480 per run. Two runs would be 960, so... Yeah, two more runs. That should be done. I'm starting to feel better now, chat. Thanks for asking. <laughs> it's like, just so you know. I wasn't feeling too well this morning. One thing is, as well, like, about a week ago, I had some. Well. Spicy food, right? but I will say like way more spicier than I'm used used to having. I think I, I mentioned it like the peri peri chicken, and it's given me literally mouth ulcers. And uh, they're getting better and better and better each day, but I still feel them, even until now, even a week later, which is uh, really annoying. <laughs> Stretching might help. Yeah, I mean, I just stretched, but I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, and I bought a third screen, thank God, finally. So it's, it's great, I've got OBS, I've got the game, and then I've got Twitch, and... If I have any guides or whatever for games on their own screens. And I use Streamlabs over here, so I've always got all the notifications and everything running. It's all all good. And these these screens are really nice screens as well. I've got these LG screens. So they're four twenty seven inch of fourteen forty P, hundred and forty four Hertz. They have I think they have, yeah, they have G-Sync as well, if I ever need it. Um, and they have HDR. They have a... I think it's like half a millisecond response time. I think it's like super, super quick. And it uses uh, nano IPS technology. So basically the pixels look super, super sharp. And it was cheap. Well, I say cheap, like, when I bought them initially, they were 400 bucks each, and then the third one, it reduced to 280. But I, I regret nothing. <laughs> and like I said before, my, my 2080 RTX is more than enough. I, I, I didn't feel the need to get 30 series. Because most of the time, I'm playing games on my PlayStation. So basically my PC is like a glorified streaming PC at this moment. Uh... Okay... Maybe one day in the future, if I start making decent money, and I have my own house, then I'll think about a dual PC setup. But for now, I'm just sticking with the one. And to be honest, like I said, this PC, it doesn't... It doesn't even have to break a sweat for the streaming I do. And the, the stream looks high quality, right, chat? From what you can see? Is a bitch on Twitch. Yeah. 
Uh, thankfully, I'm, uh, what's it called? Twitch partner, so I can push up the bitrate to 6 megabits. I think when you're affiliate, it's, uh, four and a half is the maximum. But on, uh, like, on YouTube gaming, the maximum bitrate is something insane, like 25 megabits or something like that. It's so much higher than Twitch. But in Twitch's Twitch's defense, you can encode videos and re-edit videos in like a minute. Whereas when you re-edit a video on YouTube, it, you might have to wait several hours for it to encode. Okay, exit the menu. Let's see, affiliate and partner have access to six thousand bit rate. Oh, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I checked. To be honest, like, uh, being a Twitch partner didn't really add much to, me to my life, other than it, it gave me the purple tick. That's basically it. Because I'm a UK partner, like, U US affiliates get more than I get as a UK partner. Generally. It's a prioritizing of quality options that uh, partners get. Yeah, yeah. Like, I I think with uh, affiliate, like, if it's available, then you get you get the encoding. Whereas for partners, it's got kind of basically guaranteed. Like, I get it all the time, regardless. But it's like I said, I'm not bitter about it, like, it's just a case of, uh, I just need to get, keep pushing on what I'm doing. Like, I hired a consultant who's looking at my YouTube channel to see how he can optimize it. But what he's claiming is that he can actually double to quadruple my traffic on my YouTube channel. So, through optimization. So not through botting, like, through actual, like, optimizing it. So I was like, really? If he could even double my channel, that would be amazing. Because if, if he manages to get it done properly, then I will hire him to optimize all my other YouTube channels. Because uh, one, one thing, for example, they, they said that 75% of your traffic on YouTube should be coming from uh, suggested videos means that your video should be suggested alongside other people and you get traffic from that. In my case, like, my channel is lucky to get 1% suggested traffic. Obviously, I'm doing it wrong. So my videos are incredibly well optimized for search, but they're not optimized whatsoever for suggested. And they're, they're completely separate algorithms on uh, on YouTube. Like they say the YouTube algorithm. YouTube has got several algorithms. You can appeal to one and not appeal to the other. Uh, but, as with everything else, it's just... It's a computer program. There isn't people I mean there are obviously YouTube staff but they don't control the day to day because you know well, they said hundreds of hours of video gets uploaded to YouTube every minute it would be, it wouldn't be possible for them to review all of it I don't think that I don't think they even try they rely on the bots and they rely on uh People reporting on whatever to fix some videos. Are we done yet? Oh, 
five shot. Okay. Don't you want to follow suit? Let's see if I can find one more pot. Just one. Uh... One more pot. I literally just need five. Actually, be done finally. Okay, let's see if we get the card collector trophy after this. Done, card collector. Yeah. Out of business. All cards have been bought. You made a very, you made me a very rich cupboard. Yeah. Okay. So we got the trophy. Finally. GG chat. GG. Uh, so now. Uh, was it that cheat card? I need to. It's that game master card, right? I need to do it like three times. Um. Sorry. How do I change my deck? I, I literally don't even know what I'm doing. Uh... I want the this one, right? Okay, I say yeah, I want three of them. I think, I, I think I've got it, chat. This one. Three of those. What the slice and dice card? I need that for a trophy. Slice, slice. Okay. There's a trophy where I need to slice three people. Triple blocks. Okay. I don't really want the hammer because we don't get it that much. Okay. Any changes to your deck? All right. Oh, let's carry on. Oh, I'm so relieved. 
I'm surprised. Lysi and I can take care of ourselves. Of that, I have no doubt. It's just, it's usually a 50-50 chance Uma eats a visitor. She must have seen something in you she liked more than just the marrow in your bones. <laughs> and you've got the pit! <laughs> oh, with this, I can give Dicey a mighty five. All you need to enter that final arena to battle the foreman and his high rolls. Are you ready? Before you answer, know that things might get, uh, dicey as soon as you have a five. <clears throat> There'll be no going back. So you tell me, kid. Do we do this or no? Do this. High five. Okay. Just gotta add the pips. Easy. Easy. And... Cool. Are we adding it to five drop list soon? A five! Read it and weep, slime face! And that entitles me to a gamble. I lose, you get my five. But if I win, I get Bruno back. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the little girl. She wants to gamble. She thinks all she needs is a dice to beat me. I had a nightmare last night, you know. I lost a bet. But when I woke up, I knew that was impossible because the high roller never loses. Yeah. So the Seymour created Dicey to roll the five. Eva now has. Sorry, Eva was now ready to take on the foreman and perhaps rescue Bruno Betts. There we go. I won't have mercy on you this time. You've earned my full words. I won't have mercy on you, you mean? Insolence! This is what happened. I need to now roll the dice or three. You know, I I don't even know how the dice are, works. Deal. 
Um. Ah. Ah, Machi Kuros, but. Really up the hill. Place there. Game this over. is what actually happened. Oh, I failed. I won't have mercy on you this time. You've heard my full unstoppable words. Ah. Uh. Insolence. I might have to read the guide about how to get that. Free slice and dice thing. I think I need to. I'm gonna switch out the bombs for uh, the cheat. The cheat that reduces the cost by one. This is even easier than last time. If you'll excuse me, away. <laughs> You're going to lose. It takes two to grey sizzling thread that slices through any beam that's caught in its way. Okay. Hang on a minute. So you slice. The feet three of the things using the same slice and dice. Okay, I got it. So basically, this tether 
uh, will only do a very tiny amount of damage, so they said use it when, uh, what's it called? An enemy is really low health. I went three enemies are really low health. Why don't you just give up? I might even forgive you. All these four puns. I got the high roll of the card. I'll have to try that slice and dice another time. Please, please don't, please. I'll do anything. You can be the four man. You can, you can be the high five roller. Just don't kill me, please, please. Saved him even, and in exchange, I promised you a trip through the bag. And Bruno can tell you I'm as good as my word. Oh, oh. he is that. Then she's all yours.
Uh, I don't know if what we uh, were doing is right or not, but I don't know. I see you keep thinking the same thing. Um, I know I want to go home. Out here in random, it's not where I belong. Uh, my home is with the people I love. It's a nice thought, but I see appreciate what you're trying to do. Uh, but what if the one you love doesn't want to be rescued? But I just don't have it in me anymore. Listen. Um, I've always looked up to her, but she's not the person I thought she was. I've always looked up to her for answers, but where she's going, I can't follow. There was an awkward pause. And I felt compelled <laughs> to fill it. Hey, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Uma. Uh, she said everyone used to have a dice of their own. Uh, do you remember what that was like? Insane. Thundering houses, shaping your destiny like you and me. Dicey dice races, just all sorts of random magic. Honestly, quiet and cozy companionship makes sense. It sounds like the possibilities were endless. How about that format? Why haven't you ditched me yet? That's good for now. Uh, this bag is kind of huge and creepy, yeah? Quick's worry it might be a bit less creepy. Let's at least see how far it goes. Okay. So we're now stuck inside this bag. I think we may have made a mistake. Well, you see, I, I jumped into the bag uh, to see if the story of the Bag Brothers was true. It was. The... the Bag Brothers killed me for my jewelry. All right. Let's talk to the rest before we talk to the quest giver. Okay. Oh, you're new here. I'm sorry. Everyone here is dead. Everything dies here. There's no light, no food. All we can do is die. You don't know the story, do you? Nope. Ludo. That may have actually been true. They are brothers, and they weren't always this way. Long ago, they ventured deep into a forest to a place none had gone before. Some say they disturbed some great evil there. They found this bag resting on a stump in a clearing. Or it found them. It's bottomless, you know? But it hates itself. It wants to be full. The bag twisted the brothers. It changed them. Possessed them. Made them hungry for more and more. The bag demanded they fill it with whatever they could find. First dirt, then rocks. But once the bag got a taste for flesh. Uh, we've got to do something. Look if you want, you'll only find more sorrow. There's nothing that any of us can't. Uh, uh, what's that? What? Oh no. Oh no! The coming. They're coming!
that. Easy mode. Are we in five propolis now? Let me um, get these back. How do I sort my deck? I want the cheat card. This one.
think that'll do. Are oh, you holding too many cards? Oh. Uh. Get rid of one of those. There we go. Okay, so now I can't run. Uh, Mum, have you finished the platinum yet? Are you, are you getting closer? Waits death. Oh, this a river sticks. There yet. Yeah. Over here, even. Even. I'm right here. What's the matter with you, even? I'm right here, even. Come get me. You are even. You couldn't find me. You left me alone, even. You left me with. with her. And look what you make me do. There's nothing left, even. You're too late. Oh, this game is full of hope. The girl oh. from One Croft. This even girl you keep mentioning? Sounds like a made-up name to me. <laughs> is her first name Get? <laughs> <laughs> no, even is her first <laughs> Put him on board my That made me laugh. Her majesty will know just how to make you talk. Um, 
if there's any trophy or anything for collecting all of them. Hitting all of them. Or if it's the opposite, like you're supposed to go through this and hit none of them. Hey, even. You finally right. made it. Odd. It's so good to see you. Good to see me. <laughs> if it really was so good, what took you so long? We need to go now. Right. You take forever to get here, and now I'm supposed to just follow you back? Please. You abandoned me, even. You left me to sink or swim in a horrible new world. And guess what? I swam. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. What did you want, even? To go on a big adventure? To use me as some sort of... what? Motivation? Some grand excuse? Because from what the Queen's told me, you've been running around in every district just having a great old time while I've been here suffering! Oh please, I've done everything I could. <laughs> right. Were you doing everything you could when you were meeting royalty in Three Town? Getting buddy-buddy with two towns, Mayor! You've abandoned me, even. The Queen's told me all about it. I don't know. Maybe you wanted me to die. You'd have this tragic backstory. You'd be so much more interesting to everyone around you in Wandcroft. How oh, poor, brave, even tried and failed to save her sister. Oh, that's not it. In a way, I should be grateful. I finally know who I am. What well, isn't to yourself? This isn't you. Oh, no. This is me. I finally know who I am. Can you say the same, even? I found my home. My true home. The Queen's love is tough, but she will never abandon me. You're not taking that away from me. So I don't want to be rescued, okay? I've changed, even. And it's about time you did, too. The true dice brings order. The Queen brings order. And you, all you are, is an agent of chaos. Okay, <laughs> randomly jumps on my head. Hey, feet, how are you doing today? What's up? <laughs> ah, hello. I didn't want any of this, you know. Oh, I thought I wanted to save my sister, and then I wanted to go home, but now. I just, just check my emails, chat. I just don't know anymore. <gasps> Yo, what is wrong with you, girl? <laughs> oh, boo hoo hoo! I'm dead. <laughs> boo hoo! I never got to do what I wanted. That's you. I was doing an impression of you just now. I, uh, I, don't, I don't. Look, maybe your sister's a lost cause now, and maybe she's not. But if I were teamed up with an amazing dice who have only made more powerful through my adventures, I wouldn't be crying to myself in the back of death boat. I'd be out there kicking evil queen butt, no matter what. You've got a superpower, sis. Don't waste it. Stop her and save everyone. You think I like shuttling dead children to the other side? Because I don't. I got other things I could be doing. <laughs> you can do this, even. <laughs> so find your courage and dry your tears. Because mm. this looks like your last stop. And hey, happy 12th birthday, kid. 
Oh, wow. But we still have to go around Pytropolis. Well, they upgraded. Nice. Even was back on track, more determined than ever to save whoever and whatever she could from that horrible queen, which is great. That's a story I'm much more interested in narrating. So. And on the other side of that long abandoned and silent door was Evan's destiny, whatever it would turn out to be. And she strode towards it with determination. Since forever. There were nobody there a moment ago, and then bam! Here you are. <laughs> really makes you think. All bets are off when you put a new card from old Manny Dex. Esquire. Eh? Man, I'll stop. Man, I'll stop. Guys, I'll. All bets are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex. It's you won't believe your eyes. Cool city, eh? Filled with machinery and whatnot. But the people here make their own cards instead of buying them. Ho oh, ho, that's bad for business, matey. But I'm happy to tell you that they don't hold all the cards. <laughs> eh? Oh, hey, speaking of cards, you want to trade some? I've already bought it. Um. Hang on a minute. Uh, there's an area called Visionary Shrine. Okay, where's Visionary Shrine? Is Vitropolis like really small or does it get bigger? Oi, you there. Oh. Yeah, you. I saw you. You came through that block gate somehow. That's against the rules, kid. Whole structure's been legally reclassified as a wall, not a door. <laughs> uh, sorry? Oh, not good enough, kid. That's against the rules. I say, but I'm just a little girl. Oh, sure. A little girl with a dice. It's real, isn't it? You've got a real dice there. Admit it. Yeah, I do. You better stop hassling me before I decide to use it. Oh, guards! Guards! There's a really rude kid with a dice here. Tattletale. <clears throat>
Okay. I really want to try and get that slice of dice, but when the enemies are a bit easier, if possible. You, you won! Why, you beat him like it wasn't even a thing! Oh. <laughs> Cave it away from me! Uh, and here you are, still in my way. No, 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 you say, oh, we got off on the wrong foot, eh? I, uh, let me make it up to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take this card, yeah? Please. It's very valuable, and oh, I, I, I want you to have it. It's a token of my regret. Oh, and hand esteem. You, you and your cube, I, I esteem you a lot now. Okay. I'm going away forever now to rethink my choices in my life and live it long and peaceful like, right? <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to actually look at the trophy list. Okay, 28 and 41. We've got, like, what, 13 to go. Um, uh, complete the game. Collect all the trophies. Be free using the same slice and slice. Go home and knock. Play eight cards in the same round. Uh, collect all the Lost Story pages. I'm working on that. Help Bernie find his way over Talky Talky. Talky Walky, sorry. Uh, where is that? Talky. Talky Walky. Okay, so that's in, uh, Lightropolis. Boja, find and defeat the Shadow Man once and for all. That's in Sixtopia. Okay. Receive your dream card. Unmissable. Okay, story related. Solve the puzzle in Fivepropolis. Okay. Solve all the puzzles. Hidden in it. Okay. So the ones I need to look out for, this one I need to look out for, this uh, Dice and Slice. This is going to be probably one of the most annoying ones. This one I actually have to go back and to do Chapter 1. And this one is luck based as well because I need to ideally roll the Game Master one three times in a row. And then have the one to reduce the cost by one, and then maybe heal three times and stuff like that. I need to get eight cards in one go, uh, in one round. Okay, so like I said, so I need to look out for this one, this dice, this slice, and uh, I need to get all the story pages. These two hidden trophies, actually, I'm, I'm going to assume they're story related. Okay. 
maybe a system. Yeah, that's the story related. Okay. Where does all this junk come from? We don't make it here. Aren't there characters in Star Wars that look like these? Or am I thinking of the Adams family? <laughs> Cuts on it and stuff. Oh, come on, really?
Ouais. And so I think this dicey dice and slice one's gonna be an absolute pain in the ass to do. The town was bustling with life. Even at this late hour, perhaps the townspeople would have something interesting to share. Uh, yeah, lots of them. <laughs> Sure, if that was English. You're not from around here, I can tell. Most folks living around here just want to do their jobs, honest, hard working folks, you know. Oh, Aye, nice. it was years and years ago. Back then, this was a place of magic, and the people were magic too. Hard working, but with a third eye open to the hidden rug weavers of the world, you know? Though maybe not open enough. Not since the Queen came. Oh, did not see that one coming, no. Now we got the old mystics here, mixed with people sent here as punishment. And of course, hey, yeah, the kids morning. sent here by the Queen's black dice to grow up laboring. Still got a flavor of old magic, but it's fading away every day. Why you know? are you today? Every day there's more despair, more work, and less magic in the world. Anyways, here I am bending your ear. You be safe, stranger, you're here. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. One story page, three cards, four side quests. But how are you? I feel good today. 
I did some exercise when I woke up, and it got issues happening in my body. I ended up going to the bathroom twice, which wasn't pleasant. Then I had a shower. Closer than you ever were. Come I have some KFC for lunch. Um, made my I gaming news video, before. and uh, yeah, I'm here. Familiar somehow. And I feel better now, so I was feeling I, rough at the beginning of the stream, but I feel much it. better. Had she, though? Well, it was impossible for me to confirm, since we narrators never got to see what's going on inside our characters' dreams. <laughs> Third person, omniscient narrator, my eye. Might I stop by the door or by the guys of boy guy there? Okay, let's see. Tourist, I'm not a tourist. Tell me some exciting five tropolis facts. Uh, I was going to ask you, Ian, um, it's been a while now. Like, have you been able to clear any of the debt so far? I'm a close now. Nice. Oh, who forces you to work here? Oh, what, do you think, what do you say? Like one or two more months? You can clear a couple? Don't worry, I'm going to stop the queen. If you walk uh, the world looking for bitterness, you'll find it. I'm just checking my emails. Or, for my income tax is closest, I think. Huh. I'm surprised you have to pay any income tax. Your income is low. Like in the UK, there's a tax free allowance of something like. 11k or something like that. Oh, bits are off when you've got a new card from old oh, Manny Dennis. Man, but if you're earning more than minimum, then uh, great. Oh.
Okay. again. Not wait. Salutations, even. I am the visionary. Boys. How do you know my name? Seen you before. And I, you, or rather, I will. Time is never so linear. I have watched you for a very long time, and I knew you would come here, to me. This all seemed a bit unlikely to even. Ooh, maybe this strange, floaty person was lying. I mean, uh, probably he was. Please, you're not the only one who can see things even can't. <gasps> We don't want you, Mr. Visionary. Never mind, even. I should not have addressed him. Time is short, so I will be uncharistically direct. I am one of the sacred card makers. There were five of us once. There are five still now. We used to make every type of card imaginable. Together, we cared for this part of Random, this five tropolis, until the Queen banned all dice, and with them the unleashing of creativity. Now, we are bound to do the Queen's bidding. With your dice, you have the power to defeat the Queen and set things right. The rules that have strangled random for years must be erased, and true randomness must return. But... The future moves. Changes. You are a crisis, even, and an opportunity for both sides. I cannot see clearly through the rug weave, but I can tell you this. In order to defeat the Queen, you need a very special card. Find the other card makers, free them, and we will unite to make you a card that will shake the foundations of Sixtopia. We will make for you your dream card. Dun dun dun! Follow my vision to the second of the card makers, the painter. 
And uh, take this. It might come in handy. This is... Uh, uh, are you sure you don't need this? A visionary does not need mere eyes to see more. Now go. I have interfered enough. Uh, right. Ian, how, how far did you get with uh, Life is Strange? The visionary seemed credible. Well, even incredible. And yes, maybe he could see things that he shouldn't be able to. And yes, Finished it. I loved it so much. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? But even knew the difference between novelty and fear. She pushed on towards the painter. Here, mate, there's trade cards. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> Even in Dicey had set foot in five tropolis. Here, in the magical heart of random, is where the cards used to shape the very face of the world were made. But it had long since decayed into little more than a cold and dreary factory, used for purposes far less enchanting. We blood.
Okay. Getting really tired already. Oops, my bad. Mind went to a dark place. Yeah. There. <laughs> this is what actually happened. I think I'll, what I'll do is, I think I'll chill for the day. Uh, at least I finished Fortberg and I got some trophies. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow we're actually going to play Canterbury of Spirit. So I want to make sure I've got energy for that. So, uh, let's come back to this tomorrow. Oh, not, well, sorry, it's Canterbury of Spirits tomorrow. Uh, Canterbury of Spirits apparently is 15 to 20 hours long. I'm going to assume double that for all the trophies. So, yeah. We'll, be, we'll play that for the next few days. And, uh, yeah. Then when that's done, then I'll come back to this game to finish it off. The only reason why this is a little bit more tedious is because I'm trying to get the Platinum in one go, if I can. So, alright chat. Um, I will go for today. Thank you as always for everything. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we'll play Can of Bridge of Spirits. Uh, thank you guys. Sorry I'm tired, but... Hey, I'm still human. But have a good one. Bye.